Why you look at Marina? <laughs> you know what? You know what? First of all, we you know now you know how it feels to be the only token black. <laughs> they shot down affirmative action. You didn't even need it to get mm -hmm. this job, okay? <laughs> all right, you're more than qualified. All right, well look, a white woman's in the news. This is the white woman. Um, she did a racist rant, believe it or not. Now this is Poolside Karen, aka <laughs> Blair Featherman. Uh, ain't that a white name, Featherman? Barry. Blair Featherman. Blair Featherman. Ain't never been a black person named Blair Featherman. <laughs> well, she's now breaking her silence, claiming that she's the one who was attacked in the viral TikTok video showing her lashing out at a group of Latinos. <laughs> I'm glad the Latinos are getting it for once because I'm sick of seeing white people attacking black people. <laughs> Go on. Hold on. Where's it at? Uh, for the Latino community. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, anyway, here's Blair going off at the pool in her luxury apartment complex in Lakewood, Colorado. Take a look. Yeah, it's true. You have a mob, two people. You have a fucking Mexican party in the pool. <laughs> Trash. Oh, yeah, you want you, you can't do that. You can't just record me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, you guys are such losers. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Go back down to Denver. Please, please I don't. Yeah. Fuck, bitch. You get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I live here. Please, I live here. Nowhere where you ever came from, you fucking so low class. Slime. Oh, oh my God, it's so dumb, and you're wearing it at the pool, you this idiot. Is, this is, this is turning yeah, you don't even know what our maze is. I have her maze sandals on, bitch. Oh, yeah, and these? Hold on, wait, this is good. I don't know what happened to you, Blair, but whatever happened to you deserve that shit. Now, Blair's telling the Daily Mail that it was the group of wannabe TikTokers who attacked her and clawed at her first. Now, she claims that it all started when she noticed that there were people. I don't care what happened. I don't care. I'm not about See, you did that, Karen. Blair, you did that. You done spilled my whole whatever drink that was. <laughs> it doesn't matter why you did what you did. Telling people to go back where they came from, why did y'all invite us here? Well, y'all killed all the Indians for us to be here anyway. It's the lack of history that you all study in this country where you tell people to go back where they came from. Why don't y'all go back where y'all came from? You weren't here first. And then now I'm mad that the White House is called the White House. It should just be called the house. Mm -hmm. Because it's the White House, because it was white, but black folks, the slaves, building it for the white people. Y'all painted it white so you can get away with it, but I know the real shade. It was the White House, because there's only white people out in that bitch. Unless you're working in the kitchen. Well, either way, now, uh, the, the apartment complex, the, I guess there's rules that are coming up and saying that there's only a certain amount of people that could be in the pool, and if you have more people, that, you, that there's a rule that you can't have too many people. Either way, she's saying that the people were being loud, so that was her excuse to be racist. Y'all better be careful because I saw that little gut you had, Blair. Now, somebody had a punch you in that little jiggly wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you got to be careful because you never know these days who's really going to go there. And even though you're saying they called you a white bitch, I didn't see all that. Where was your camera? Where was your TikTokers filming you? I'm sick of seeing this Karen story play over and over. Aren't you? Aren't you? It's embarrassing. What do you think? She's a bug-eyed, sunburnt racist. She had too many bottles of rosé and sat out in the sun, and I'm tired of them. Their go-to is always to say, you stink, go back where you came from. And then they turn around and, and want to say, oh, it wasn't racist, or oh, they attacked me first. No, everything out of her mouth had to do with their ethnicity or a stereotype about their ethnicity. So, girl, be quiet. Have several seats. If you lose all your jobs, you deserve it. If you lose everything you have, you deserve it because that's your go-to is to be racist. And I respect everybody out there that films all this stuff and shares it so we could talk about it here. And the reason why I wanted to talk about it today is because I really feel, feel like the only way you really eradicate racism and hate is to just, like, expose it. So whoever knows where Blair Featherbender, whatever her name is, <laughs> Wherever she works, can y'all tag her employer below? Can we find her? Let's find Blair and tag her Blair Featherspoon uh, below, okay? <laughs> and the, the crazy part is you're like a pretty lady, too. Mm -hmm. She's pretty to me, but then she's so ugly. Like, her eyes, now that I look at it, they, she looks evil. Yeah. You look possessed. You look like what Jocelyn... I was going to say, they're, ser they're right? sharing the same stash or something. Wouldn't we love to see them on the next undercard at a Flame Mayweather fight? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>